Hi everyone, I am Renu Kanthi. I am in my final year pursuing computer engineering. I am going to share my experience of placements. I have appeared for nine interviews till date. The main objective of this video is to take you through the mistakes that I had done so that you can avoid repeating those and basically what all things that I should have done in my first, second and third year, I'll be sharing that as well. I'll start by explaining the basic recruitment process of the first three companies that I had appeared for so that you will get an idea about what to expect. So I'm not going to uh, explain in detail each and every topic. I have mentioned the important uh, points on this slide. I'll just brief you about the assessment pattern. So the uh, first company that had come was Persistent. So for Persistent, there were three packages. The base package was 4.7 LPA, then the higher package of 7.5 LPA, and then there was another package of 9 LPA. So firstly, we had uh, assessment test at AMCAT platform. The, uh, there were various sections that I've mentioned here. And for the coding round, you can choose any programming language that you're comfortable in. And the uh, students who clear the assessment test, uh, they are eligible for the interview of base package. That is the technical interview. And the students who uh, manage to score higher marks in assessment test, for them, there was another advanced coding round for the higher package. So in the advanced coding round, there were only two coding questions. And then uh, after, if you like, if you clear the advanced coding round, you had the interview for higher package. Otherwise, you had interview for base package. So I had given the interview for higher package and I have mentioned like in short the main uh, points that were covered in the interview. So I won't be explaining in detail. You will come to know about the recruitment process like when it starts. So the main objective of this video is basically about the things that you need to start doing from your first or second year of engineering. The next company that I'll be explaining about is BMC Software. So for persistent, I couldn't clear the technical round. And then the next company I appeared was uh, BMC. So the package was 12 LPA and it had three rounds. All the uh, rounds were uh, all the rounds were elimination round. And then uh, for the HR interview, I had reached till the HR interview, and the interview was pretty good according to me. But uh, I couldn't clear the HR interview. In fact, uh, nobody from our college got selected for BMC software. And the next is PGS, which stands for Principal Global Services. Uh, the package was 6 LPM. PGS is the company where I got placed in. And the recruitment of PGS was very lengthy, as you can see. The first uh, test we had was a diagnostic test and then the e-litmus test. So uh, the e-litmus test here was very important as it was the bar to uh, like eliminate most of the students. In fact, only two students from our college cleared this e-litmus test and then uh, we were eligible for the next four rounds. So after the e-litmus test, the technical managerial HR interview and then puzzle test, all these four rounds were uh, scheduled on the same day. Uh, so here as well, I have mentioned all the points that were covered in each round. So here comes the important part, like where to start the preparation from. So firstly, I'd like to advise you about communication skills because this is what it is really important and makes you stand out, right? Even though you have good technical knowledge, you need good communication skills to convey your answers or your knowledge to the interviewer so you need to start working on your communication skills at earliest and then choose a programming language i would prefer choose either java or python because it uh, it really helps in the coding round as there are many predefined libraries in that so java or python is more preferable than c plus plus because in C++, like it will just make your job very tedious during the coding, inter uh, coding rounds. 
and then practice problem solving so what is problem solving basically uh, it is practicing the coding questions which are available on various platforms like hacker and lead code etc so uh, i'll be sharing all the resources that i had used for preparation at the end of the slide so you don't need to worry like you don't need to note down anything right now and after that yeah i'd like to mention that start preparing for aptitude test because aptitude is not something that you will be able to solve uh, by just practicing for 3 to 4 weeks it will take you a minimum of 2 months to be able to solve those questions in the actual exam so it is not a, just about solving the questions it is also like you need to get that approach right and you need to solve it in the limited amount of time so practicing aptitude is really important and the most important thing here that i have emphasized is making notes it is really important to make notes of each and everything that uh, you are preparing for your interview so the thing is the preparation for placements is a very lengthy process like there are lot of different topics that you'll be uh, studying for it and it becomes difficult to revise each and everything a day before the interview so you need to have your notes ready from day one this is the first and foremost mistake that i had done is not preparing notes and when i had the time to revise the notes like few days before the interview that was the time where i had started making the notes of all the important subjects and topics so even the projects that you make even the things that you put in your resume you need to have notes of each and everything ready with you so that like it will also help you build confidence before the interview and then basic engineering subjects which are important that i have mentioned here if you are in your first or second year then you won't be familiar with these uh, subjects but you learn it like later and oops and data structures is the fundamental thing required for the uh, placement process so you need to be sure that you have your basics clear of oops and data structures and after that um, i'd like to suggest that start building projects so i had two projects in my resume the first one was um, included in the curriculum itself so in the third year we have a mini project of android app application so apart from the one which is in your curriculum you need to have at least one other project that you are going to build on your own like your individual project so make sure you have the a minimum of two projects in your resume and your projects need not be very high level and combining a lot of different technologies together the other project that i had made was a simple gui based python application which had a, a gui in python and then mysql as the back end database so you can use simple technologies but make sure that you know each and everything about the project and after that uh this point is not really that important but it will definitely give you a give you an upper hand during the interviews try to participate in extra curricular activities because in uh, most of my interviews i was asked whether i had participated in any uh, other activities in my college or not so this will really add to your interview so try to participate if you can and then the things that you should keep in mind here is first of all don't panic if you think you have very less time for preparation it's fine you can still like cope up with a lot of things because i myself had started preparing very late so it's uh, it's fine if you are starting late but make sure that you like work really hard and you uh, start uh, planning things in advance and then don't if you are in your first and second year don't don't think that you have a lot of time for preparation because it is not just the placement that you need to prepare for in your third year there will be other projects there will be the mini project there will be a seminar apart from that your lectures practicals you have to take care of each and everything so it is better to start as early as you can 
and it is also important to like you must have observed that each and every company has a different uh, pattern for recruitment so you the first step of preparing for an interview should uh, interview or the recruitment process in general should be uh, like you should first research about the assessment pattern of the company don't uh, waste your time studying each and every topic first find out which topics is the company going to conduct tests on then what is the weightage of the topic what all is asked in the interview all these things will be available on youtube or google very easily so study smartly don't waste your time in studying each and every topic and then don't put things on your resume which you are not confident about because uh 60% of the interview will be based like in most of the cases will be based on your resume so make sure that you put everything that you are absolutely confident about and then don't take hr interview lightly so we all have this assumption that hr interview is just to test your communication skills and it's just like a formality it is not like that even we uh, even i used to think like that uh, but let me tell you the hr interview for the bmc software was really really good but still they rejected all of us because it is not just about the answers that you are giving you really need to convince the person that you are willing to work for the company and your answers that you are giving for example why you want to work in this company why do you think i should hire you so these answers are really important and and like these answers should not be very stereotype like it sh- the interview interviewer shouldn't feel like you've just picked up the answers for google, from google or something so a good tip that i would suggest is also while preparing for the uh, recruitment you can make notes of the hr questions as well if you have the, all the questions ready before the interview it will be very helpful for you and then as i mentioned earlier you don't need to focus too much on very high level projects uh, done by combining many different technologies together first uh, focus on making your basics really strong because that is what is tested in the interviews now i'll talk about what i should have done in my first second and third year so in my first year i should have started working on my communication skills as i said communication skills is not something that you will acquire overnight it will require a lot of practice your english should be really polished to make you stand out in the interviews uh, because because of communication skills the interviewer will think why you are different from all the others because everyone has technical skills everyone is going to prepare for interviews uh like in that what will make you stand out will definitely be the way you present your answers in the interview and you should create linkedin profile as early as you can and make connections with uh, all the people from your college and all the recruiters like other hr uh, of different companies if you want and if you have some knowledge of programming language then you can start problem solving from the first year itself i did not have much knowledge and i wasn't aware of the platforms which are used for problem solving so i had started practicing on hacker rank like very late so if you are good and if you have knowledge about pro- uh, programming language you can start in your first year itself and if you really like are determined and you practice a uh, problem solving then this will definitely going to reflect on your package and basically there are few companies which focus mainly on coding rather than the aptitude skills etc so if you are really good at coding and if you are willing to practice from the first year itself you can definitely you have a very good chance of landing into a company with 15 lakh plus package so uh you can start problem solving in the first year itself and in the second year as i mentioned i did not make notes of the important subjects 
that were taught so i should have made notes of the oops and data structures and cleared all my basics so if you are in your second year please make notes of each and everything it will be very helpful for you uh, while preparing for the interviews and i should have started problem solving practice because in second year we had started learning about oops right so i should have started right away the problem solving but uh, in my second year i wasn't really aware of various platforms that i can use and then a simple project i could have made in my second year itself so the python project that i mentioned i uh, started developing it in the lockdown period in the uh, second semester of my third year so you can it will be really he uh, helpful for you if you make a simple project in your second year itself you can also put that in your resume and in the third year i should have started practicing aptitude questions daily if you are in your third year you should start it is high time now i had started really late so because of that like at the last moment there were many concepts and things that i had to like cram into my brain so make sure that you don't let that happen and start practicing aptitude from the third year itself it will be very useful for you like you'll gain a lot of confidence before the uh, like placement process starts and then puzzles are really important you can practice puzzles uh from there are like various platforms where you, you can practice uh, puzzles i had never done puzzles because i wasn't aware that they ask puzzles in the interviews as well and then if i would have started uh, coding uh, questions practice in my second year then in my third year i should have proceeded to advanced level coding so when i say advanced level coding it includes using data structures like array string stack and queue and remember that if you are starting your um, problem solving practice first make sure to focus on uh, arrays and strings because these are the two things that are mostly tested in the coding round so arrays and strings you have to be very clear with each and every concept related to that and then i should have made another project in my third year so make sure that like keep in mind that try at least to make two projects till your third year and then of course apart from the uh, one that is included in your curriculum and then again i am emphasizing on the fact that it is very important to make notes of all the important subjects because the subjects that are there in the third year are really important and these are the subjects which will be tested so pay attention to all the lectures and get your basics clear and make notes of everything and for the b part i will just like to give you some tips like keep track of all the dates because i have missed a couple of uh, like for the companies that come you need to fill the registration form and register for each and every company right so the deadline for each and every companies is very different so you need to keep track of all the dates and the deadlines of registration because of this like it becomes very hectic to manage the college stuff and do the registration keep track of all the dates which is why i had missed a couple of companies registration because the due date had already expired so make sure that you keep track of all the dates and do the registration carefully and the important thing here is keep your resume ready before the recruitment process starts so i wasn't aware that i need to submit my resume in the registration form of persistent which was the first company that had come so while i was registering i had just i had to complete the registration on the same day so i had to like submit the rough uh, copy of the resume that i had prepared in 10 minutes so make sure that that does not happen and keep your resume ready before the process starts and then these are all the resources that i had studied from you can refer these and 
these are like most popular ones that i had referred and so yeah that was all about this video i hope this video was really helpful for you all to like get an insight of what you are going to face in the future and lastly i just want to tell you that don't burden yourself with all these things it is like it is important to enjoy this process but at the same time remember that whatever efforts that you are going to put into preparation that will definitely affect your package so start preparing as early as you can and just enjoy this process and yeah good luck everyone thank you